my channel. As you can tell, this is a very different video this week. However, I think this is going to be fairly entertaining and hopefully positive at the end of it. This week I'm working with a company called Goo Goo. They provide hair extensions, Remy hair extensions. I have mentioned this to you. Um, I did give you a little heads up a few weeks ago that this is what I was going to be doing and we're doing it. We're just doing it. I must say I've been putting it off for a couple of weeks because I just don't know how this video is going to go. I have never applied hair extensions in my life but Goo Goo reached out and I thought this actually might be quite a good excuse to actually give it a go. You never know, I might actually really really enjoy it. It might be a very easy process and hopefully it's not going to extend my beauty regime too much. I am just not a hair person so this is seriously going to be the most honest review you're going to get uh, with regards to the hair extensions. Right, this is the box that the hair extensions come in. Initially I had to go and do a colour match on their website. It's so so easy to do. There are super clear photos of each of the hair and real photographs of the hair extensions on people so it's very easy to get as close a match as you possibly can. It's not going to be 100% guaranteed but I think that these are pretty close to my hair as we speak and I also went for, I thought, was the shortest length. Yep, 14 inch to 24 inch. I'm not massively keen on long hair anyway. I've always had my hair to about shoulder length so I don't really want length. For me it's more about thickness. Over the years bleaching, highlighting, styling tools. Got to admit I haven't used a straightener for about a year however I do have mine here today just in case I do need it. And so I got them in a 14 inch. Now they come in a little box like this which is very very cute. Here is the hair. If you're a complete novice to hair extensions like myself you may not realise that they actually come in different widths and the different width determines where you put it on your hair. Now according to the instructions I've got one four clip width of hair, two three clips, that's the width of the three clips, two two clip, two little clips on the back there and two one clips. We are going to be learning this together. I believe that these are the ones that you would put down the side of the hair if you need thickness around here which is definitely what I'm going to need. As you probably noticed I have washed my hair because I thought to give this the best chance of success I'm going to style my hair as I normally would. I'm going to be using my rev on one step which as you know you may not if you've only just joined me is an absolute blimmin game changer. I reviewed this about two years ago. It changed my hair routine overnight. Swear on my life it is the best tool you will ever use to dry and style your hair and once that's done we are literally going to go through this process together, section the hair, clip in the hair extensions and hopefully it will be a success. So I think ladies we're just going to crack a lacquer on with this. If you are new here and you have not yet pressed the subscribe button please do whack down on that button it really does help me to grow. If you are a returning subscriber thank you very much. Let's crack on with this very nerve-wracking video. Three, two, one. <laughs> already washed my hair. I've got a conditioning treatment in it as well. Hopefully my hair's going to play ball today but um, I can't guarantee this. The conditioning leave-in spray that I use at the moment is by Umberto Giannini called Grow Long and Smooth. It's a wonder blow dry spray. Do you know why I actually bought this? Because I love the colour. Um, it's cruelty free and vegan. Accelerate hair growth and prolong the hair's life cycle. I love this. When I am styling it, it kind of creates this beautiful shine which otherwise I wouldn't have. Uh, right we're going to go straight in with my Revlon one step so I'm going to get this plugged in. I'm also going to stick you in fast forward. Guys, we'll be here forever um, and I'm just going to get the hair prepped and then we're going to crack on with these hair extensions so let's do this. really try to not curl it too much under so it's relatively straight for these hair extensions. This tool is my life. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to straighten as much of my hair as I can, maybe not the top until I've got the extensions in. Just section my hair like that and just straighten from the bottom up. I think it's going to really help because these extensions are quite straight and my hair is quite bouncy. So um, we'll just go over the straighteners really quickly. Buzzing, let's drink up your death look like big fun Come on, let's get it on Like that orphan gay some Love it, come on, give me By the way, this clip, they actually give you It's got goo goo written on it And oh, it's really good, it holds the hair really well And my hair would normally slip out of this well, maybe you should leave with me The night 
Whilst I was straightening my hair, I have decided I'm going to cut these purely because if you look, obviously it's not sectioned, but for example, if I was to put it in parts of my hair that I'm going to put it in uh, once I've sectioned it, I've got all this down here. A, I don't want the length, um, and B, I don't want to have the fuss of having to blend my natural hair with this very, very lovely, good quality hair. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and get rid of this length on all of these wefts. Wish me luck, but they do say you can cut it and do anything with it you can treat it like your own hair and then hopefully that way when I've got all the extensions in it will just look thicker I want thick voluminous hair I don't want the length I'm going to bring you down so that you can actually see what I'm doing trimmed I have cut um, all of the extension wefts to the length that I wanted that's what's left from bleaching my hair for years so if I can get that thickness and that volume around my face I am going to be one happy lady now for the exciting part so I need my pintail comb hopefully I've sectioned that off okay only you will be able to see but I've tried to go as straight around the base of my head like round about my cranium really as I could and we're going to go in with the number three this bad boy. I unpop the clips and you'll see the teeth kind of come up and they're ready to stick into that kind of parted area of your hair. With all of these extensions you really want to be popping the middle clip in first so you've got the center of your head and then these two will clip in afterwards. Right in the middle of the head. Push it in. Oh that was quite secure. Okay first one in. Actually, that length is blooming perfect. Woo! So the next one I do apparently is the four weft. I'm gonna go above that one that I've just done. Now I might not need all of these pieces because I've got such a small head. But now we're going in with the four clip, which is this bad boy here. Pop out the clips and then go in again at the hairline. I can't show you because I'm also trying to figure it out myself. <laughs> So we're getting a bit of thickness now. We're gonna go in with another three, which will be just above that last four one. Four one, this is getting very complicated. Again, clip that away and pop this one right in the middle again. Right, and then that's the three. Oh my gosh, it feels so thick. <laughs> that's already looking so much thicker. Now what I'm gonna do is, because I've got two twos left and I've got two ones left, I'm gonna try and create a little bit more volume around the head as opposed to just it all being heavy down here, which is ironic because normally I'm quite big up here and then it goes all wispy around here. But if we can try and even it out by using these last remaining wefts, this could work. <laughs> This clip, by the way, is amazing. And when I put this two in, I'm not gonna bring it too far forward. You don't want to see that extension here. You don't want it there, because once my natural hair falls forward, you don't want to see the clip. So I'm gonna come maybe about an inch and a half back. That went in well. Because it's a brighter blonde, hopefully once I've kind of styled it and va va it, you should get some nice highlights coming through as well. But I'm gonna do the same on the other side with the two weft. I'll just check that that is the right length. It is. Got that to one side. I'm so pleased I cut these because I don't think I would have been able to blend this hair into my hair. Got quite a lot of the blonder color here and it is a good match. However, this is more blocky and I'm kind of a bit more ashy at the bottom, but obviously blending in it's gonna hopefully give some really nice highlights it's actually nice because it just looks much thicker look at that right the last thing that we need to do is pop a little bit around the front of the hair because that is where it's a bit of a telltale you've got these kind of little pathetic little bits here um, and then quite a lot of thick volume there so we've got these two one clip wefts left um, and I'm gonna be popping those just in the front there and then hopefully uh, that'll be it that gives oh that's quite nice because that gives that kind of little bit of highlight there's a little bit of highlight there around the face oh my 
my goodie. Did I do it? I did it. Ladies, I did it. I don't think I'd have had the same results had I kept them long. Um, I'm really, really pleased that I cut that length off. And to be quite honest with you, that wasn't a ball leg. Once I cut the extensions, a really easy process. Look at that. That is beautiful. Now, what I'm gonna do next time I go to my hairdressers, I am gonna take them with me. I'm gonna clip them and show her where I put them on my head. And then I'm gonna get her to cut them into my hairstyle, if you know what I mean, to blend them in. Because actually, this is a very, very successful review. Oh my gosh, I never have that thickness here, but just feeling it blended in. I mean, yeah, I can I can feel this weight on my head, but it's a good weight. It actually feels quite nice. So <laughs> strange. It's a strange kind of comforting feeling. But yeah, I'm chuffed a bit with that. Wowza, what do you think? Leave your comments down below. <laughs> I'm gonna try and style it because apparently you can treat it like your normal hair. I'm buzzing, let's drink up your death look like big fun come on let's get it on like that i'm fin gay song i'm something you love it come on give me something i know that you want it come on give me something quite a lot of the time i wear a uh, side parting as well so it's good to know that i can do that and it's not visible there but if i tuck it behind my ears look at that I've tucked it behind my ears. You cannot see it clipped in. It just feels so much thicker. I am chuffed to bits. Wow, okay, so I came into this with trepidation and I've got to say, I am absolutely thrilled. Pleased that I cut the extension. Okay, you know, it might not be absolutely perfect, but it's the length that I want. It's the thickness that I want. And I'm going to take these bad boys into my hairdresser. Right, ladies, this is Goo Goo Hair. If you are impressed or if you want to get yourself a packet of Goo Goo Hair, then I will link everything down below for you. I believe I have a discount code as well. I can't think of it at the top of my head. It might be 15, 20%. I will link that down below as well. And as you've witnessed, even I have been able to put it in my hair. So yeah, I'm dead, dead chuffed and I don't want to take them out. Right, ladies, if you've loved my video, please do give it a thumbs up. If you have not yet subscribed and this is your kind of shizzle, then whack down on that subscribe button down below. That really does help me to grow and bring these videos to you. If you are interested in how I remove my leg hair, then stay tuned because we've got another little video on its way. Take care, ladies, and I'll see you next Friday. Bye. There's no one